guys, Adrian Cahill here, professional coach. I'm just going to share with you a couple of points prior to you starting a coach engagement with myself or any coach. There's a couple of small things I think you should know about. This will be a short video and I'll have a longer version for those that want more depth. Okay. Now the process of starting with a coach is quite simple. It starts with a conversation, a connection. Hi, I'm interested in coaching. What can coaching do for me? Really, we move into the assessment. What kind of things would you like to achieve with your coach? Well, hmm, it just doesn't feel right. You know, I've been working really hard, working really hard. May or may not getting a lot of results. Tell me more. And we go into an assessment where we assess the needs of the client. And then you want to step into the assessing whether the coach can help you with that. Now, for me, one of the clearest indicators is, is, is to ask the coach if they can give you examples, names, testimonies, or endorsements from people that they've helped before. So now, if the coach has helped a ton of people through that problem or challenge, there's a fair chance they can get you through it. A lot of coaches will offer unconditional guarantees as well. So a lot of coaches will get either a result of a guarantee, not all. You want to check that. So you do your assessments, you check to see if the coach can do it. Okay, coach can do it. Just like a gym coach, you go to a gym, gym coach helps you achieve your fitness goals. Life coach, executive coach, business coach helps you achieve your goals. So has the fitness coach, life coach or business coach, have they coached other people to get their results? Yes or no? Are you confident? Are they the real deal? Perhaps do they have endorsements uh, on video or on LinkedIn? If they're on the website, make sure they're real and genuine, right? So, so check out the endorsements and stuff, make sure the coach can really get the results. Okay, so you check with the coach to make sure they can get you the results and then you need to, okay. Okay, great, the coach can do it. And then comes a, how much money does it cost? Uh-oh. Here comes a fear most people have. How much does it cost? It can cost a lot. It can cost a ton. I think I'll flip this and get into the money objections. But then you've got to commit. Just like the gym. You want to commit. Now, I personally don't like month-by-month -month stuff. I like, come in, deep pockets, pull out 10K, 20K, throw it down, let's go. You really want a result? 10, 20K shows commitment. Does it seem like a lot? My cousin pays 50K. Now my cousin owns a business which is worth a few million dollars. So his business is worth a few million dollars, he throws 50K down for coaching. You know, five years ago he was paying 20K for coaching. And when I first talked to him, uh, 2010 or something about coaching, he was throwing down like 1K a month for coaching. And now he's paying 50K a year for coaching. Like, fuck. But you know what? It's because it keeps working and he keeps getting a return on his money. And now he's up with a multi-million dollar company. Coaching can really work. Now my, my cousin would cycle and he would have a new coach every year or two. So anyway, commit, just like the gym. Some gym uh, PTIs would be better at uh, weight. Some might be better with body weight. So there's a variety. Assess if it works and commit and then you will grow. Talk. Assess, commit, grow. Now, the three reasons people don't do it, they get stuck on the money stuff. And that's the primary reason why most people need coaching is because they need to get over their money stuff. Especially if they're like Australian or French. Ugh. I work for, I work for a lot of French entrepreneurs and like there's a very common story, Germans as well, but especially French for some reason, there seems to be a lot of stories about spending money. So the, the French will get a lot uh, hooked up on the money. And a lot of them, if they're not aware of guys like my cousin spending 50k, they think that 5k on coaching is a lot. I don't even think my retreat is 5k. 5k is cheap for coaching. Because I've seen, you know, I've been around. I know 5k ain't much for coaching. But for a lot of people, they've got no idea. So they, they kind of freak out with the money aspect. They may think they're not worth it. 
But what you gotta do is, you gotta figure out the return on investment, and I'll talk about that on the bigger video if you want. The important thing with the cost is the return you're gonna get. So if you're talking about doing big things, don't expect to pay $1,000. You pay $1,000, you pay cheap, you pay twice. There is a limit. You, you may not be in a situation where you're gonna drop 50K or 100K on a coaching program. But if you're a multimillionaire, hell, you probably should be. So people get hung up, they got a lot of money stuff. A lot of people I talk to, it doesn't matter what price, it doesn't matter what price I give them. They're like, oh, that's a lot. And that's actually the third thing, fear. They have fear of handing over their money. They're in the scarcity mindset. They have fear of handing over the money. They have fear of committing to their goals. They have fear of failure. They have fear of success. They have a fear of what will people think. They have a fear of this, a fear of that, a fear of bloody everything. And that's exactly why they need coaching. Exactly why coaching is so good. Because they get coached, they move beyond their fears, they step up and they stretch, and the world is the, truly their oyster. Speak to people that have done it, one, two years of coaching, even six months of coaching. They're dominating their world, they're in charge of their life. It's phenomenal. Uh, middle excuse which I've just skipped is time. Simple. The time excuse is simple BS. It's bullshit. It's like I've got to see my partner. I've got to talk to my wife. I've got to talk to, I've got to, talk to my dog, my cat. I don't have the time. They're all bullshit excuses. Total who can't spend one hour a week working on themselves, working on their business, working on the mindset. Okay, so I, I said this would be a short version. I got a lot to share. I love this stuff inside out. Coaching's changed my life. I've seen so many people come back from the edge of divorce. I've seen people come back from the edge of bankruptcy. At the same time, I've seen people go bankrupt. I was giving a little advice and a little coaching to a friend. I wanted him to go full out, but he said he wasn't in a position to do proper coaching. He could only have a little bit of advice. Could I, could I give him a, a few free words? And uh, in, the, in the next six months, he went bankrupt. If he would have hired me, he might have been able to come back. Okay. So I've got a lot of passion for this. I've seen coaching change the lives of so many people. Yeah. So many people. A lot of people are in a victim mode. They're in victims like the world's done bad stuff. I get them into doing where they can actually start taking personal responsibility again. And from there we go up to flow states where things just come with ease and grace. It's a lovely place to be. And I'll help you get there. Okay, thank you very much. You guys are beautiful.